day, y'all. I went to Lowe's yesterday, and uh, when we were there, we got the Stay Green Potting Mix plus fertilizer. Um, several of those. And the Stay Green Flower and Vegetable Garden plus fertilizer. Both were on sale. Feeds to up to nine months. This one is one cubic foot, and the other one is um, 32 quarts. So that's uh, what we got for potting things in pots. And we've been to Costco recently, and this is a great deal all purpose plant food. And it's an earthworm castings, natural source of plant nutrients. Let's see, it's good for flowers, gardens, plants that are indoors and out, and shrubs. And it's a bag that has... It's 10 pounds. So, I, we got three bags of those from Costco. I believe it was like ten dollars. Uh, great deal. And from work, uh, I got coffee, uh, spent coffee grounds, and it's still moist. And if it has coffee filters in it, it's fine. Um, it's just going to decompose. I'm going to spread that in the warm bin all over the garden along with the worm castings today and recently they did another fire pit fire so the ashes are going to go and be spread about the garden and it's okay to put into the worm bin as well and great to scatter around the chicken coop because it deters mites and stuff like that. It helps um, the mulch pile decompose faster. And that is what I'm going to be busy doing. And one more thing. I have some eggshells that you're supposed to dry and then pulverize in like um, a blender or magic bullet or something. I'm just gonna by hand crumble it up and throw it on top of the soil at the very top. And that way I think it won't scratch the earthworms as much. I don't know if it, it does or not, the, the edges. And it helps um, release calcium slowly as you water things over time. And the birds are extra noisy today because we're acclimating the, we're acclimating the, we're introducing the young birds to the older birds who are just slightly bigger. They're getting quite large now and it's time for them to get acquainted with each other and establish their hier hierarchy, their uh, pecking order. As you can see, the uh, worm castings are very much looks like soil. Eventually, I plan on having this from my worm bin, collecting this from my worm bin. Um, I'm not sure how long. I will keep checking and watering and adding to my worm bin. But at the bottom will be this rich worm casting at, at the and then also there will be worm tea so that I can collect it for and another thing is that it has a lot of plant nutrients you can put it directly into the onto the plants and it won't burn and it shows you the applications and stuff like that how frequently so new annuals perennials um, one inch of castings in newly dug hole set plant in place and top dress with soil and reapply four to six weeks 
a quarter cup. So basically, it's just, um, you know, one way. See, it says non burning, naturally odor free, encourages root growth, improves soil structure. So um, it's going to help a lot. And hope you go and get yourself some warm castings. So today really is amendment day. <clears throat> I'm going to be um, pouring some of this uh, potting mix around some of my fruit trees just to give them some extra uh, nutrients around the base of my fruit trees and some plants along with all the other ingredients that I've put in together the worm castings, eggshells, and some coffee, ground coffee. So now I've watered everybody and I've added water to the worm bin. I've started the worm castings, the soil around the trees, eggshells um, on top, coffee grounds around plants. Um, so I've watered everything in and now we're just going to wait for a little everything to grow like these little green things here, these little babies and some brassica greens I grew at the base of my ultra dwarf donut peach and some eggshells all around here some greens are popping up Transplanted the society garlic into the ground and it's now starting to bloom. Beautiful. This is a sapote. I had grown it here and I had it in a pot from a friend. Transplant had it in the pot for about a year or two. Transplanted it to this spot here and then I had cosmos growing around here last year and then then beneath it was this plant and I mistakenly thought it was an avocado that I had thrown the seed into the compost and kind of threw it around here and I was alarmed and I was about to dig it up but I was like well let's see if it is that sapote and in fact they have similar looking leaves these are smaller and not so crispy and crunchy like the avocado um, leaves but it really sure scared me because when a um, new young baby avocado plant comes up it looks like this it's really fresh and small um, but this is a sapote some of my figs are starting to come back they're starting to have um, green tips and starting because I was kind of worried for a while that they were dying and I just think it's part of becoming dormant and this one by far is my favorite look at how many fruit there are let me tell you what what kind it is we got this one from Lowe's it is the white Genoa fig it's been producing it's really awesome it's not quite ready it's a green variety but when it's soft it's ready uh, but it's making quite a few and I, I believe turkey fig also makes it's pretty prolific Here is my garden bed and it is growing so many um, Yodfa and rapini. That's what it was that I couldn't remember last time rapini on one side Yodfa on the other and then just a strip of uh, leeks. Onion sets are growing pretty well. Um, now they've got several little, little leaves. Um, trying to propagate this tomato. It's a cherry tomato variety that the, the mother volunteered in my other garden bed. And I'm taking the, um, the side shoots and trying to propagate them in the corners here. Unfortunately, we had either a possum or a raccoon come in here and dig up stuff and I think I've lost some onion sets, which is 
quite annoying. I haven't seen any tetzel come up. This broccoli is looking marvelous. Here's a smaller one. That's all Brussels sprouts. And this rose all um, broccoli. So there's another. There is another. Another. And uh, I've been trying to harvest these cilantro. They're starting to go to seed, but I think I still have time. And I planted some, some, I sowed some seeds in here, nasturtium and stuff like that. If they come up, they come up. I should probably add a thin layer of soil, I'm not sure yet. But this collard green is going to flower, going to seed. Here's my holy basil, attracting lots of bees. And here's the mother tomato plant, cherry tomato, and I popped it up using these ties from the from my groceries onto that that uh, electrical conduit. Everyone's now fed and happy and quiet. They had to be separated because the big ones were still picking on these guys, but we're working on introducing them to each other. And that's about it. Everyone is um, content now and including the plants have been fed. Hope you have a great day.